You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey, Days of Our Lives fans, it is Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I've got your two-week spoilers. These run from Monday, January 29th, all the way through Friday, February 9th, 2024, which takes us into the first full week of February sweeps, even though Days isn't on network TV anymore. They are still doing the whole sweeps things, which is really exciting. I'm kind of on the fence about this year's sweeps, by the way, because if you didn't know it, it was replacement writers writing this material. This is not standard Ron Carlovati stuff, by the way. So usually he does really drastic stuff, you know, murder, mayhem, mysteries. So I, I'm kind of cautiously interested to see what comes out of this with him not having his hand on the helm. Hey, if you haven't, please reach down, click subscribe so you don't miss any of our updates. Now let's unpack these two weeks spoilers and see what's going on in Salem. Monday, January 29th, we've got Everett confessing to Stephanie, but he's not telling near enough truth. The only truth he's telling her is that he is still in love with her. I don't know how much longer he thinks he can hide from one of Salem's cops while he is a member of the news media. Um, He's about to get busted. Marlena goes to see Steve and tells him she thinks that John is having some issues and needs some help. And Steve is going to alert John that Constantine knows about the pawn. I... I feel, I don't know if this pawn thing was Ron's idea or if this was from the replacement writers. If it's a Ron thing that I'm willing to go, okay, maybe it's going to be good, but maybe not. Teresa and Alex are playing truth or dare. Looks like they are getting silly. Maybe they're getting sloppy. I hope he's not having her drink. I know alcoholism isn't her thing, but when someone is struggling with their sobriety from their substance of choice, even if it's not alcohol, it doesn't seem like losing control with a different substance is a good idea. Kate tells Roman she's still very worried that Lucas is in danger and the two of them are on high alert because it looks like somebody's lurking around the pub after hours. Maybe it is her son. Tuesday, January 30th, we have Stefan in a terrible, terrible mood and he runs into Johnny and Stefan's being a jerk to Johnny about it. I mean, you know, EJ won't like that, but heck, EJ doesn't like anything. Paulina is in a complete and total panic. She's having some kind of medical crisis. She shows up at the hospital and Sarah is stunned when she walks in the exam room and Paulina is the one. She checks out her throat. Remember, her surgery was put off quite a while, but it sounds like it may need to get rescheduled and is more urgent than they initially thought. Leo sees Stephanie leaving Everett's room at the Salem Inn and Leo Stark thinks it might be some sort of walk of shame. Everett did want Stephanie to stay. She thought about it. Then she said, no, thanks. Then she left. And I don't think Stephanie is going to want Leo writing anything about her about this. We'll see how that conversation goes. Steve tells Kayla he's very concerned about Constantine Melionis and thinks the guy is trouble. Also on Tuesday, Wendy Wendy spends some time hanging out with Ava, Tripp's mom. So that's Maybe kind of fun. Wednesday, January 31st, Harris and Jada make another drug bust. I wonder if this is some info that they got from Lucas because he's out of jail. That means he must have given them some some good intel of some sort. Johnny asked Chad to be the best man at his Valentine's Day wedding, but Chad thinks Johnny should run in the other direction and leave Chanel alone because the Demera curse is not good for any of the women in their lives. Something like that. It's not going to be a pleasant conversation. Alex accuses Brady of still wanting Teresa. I think Brady is having some, maybe some renewed feelings for Teresa. So this may be a legitimate question to ask. Chanel starts wedding planning and Paulina is there for her for that. Xander gets a strange phone call. We heard the beginning of this phone call on Friday. So maybe we're not going to see Xander again till then, or maybe he's going to get a different phone call. Somebody wants him to kill someone and they're offering money to do it. And then Xander goes and demands answers from Stefan. I'm sure that they want Xander to kill Clyde, who, to be fair, is an old prison buddy of his. Usually it's Ava who gets Xander to do her dirty work. But Xander, 
I don't think he's going to do anything like this because he doesn't want to risk things with Sarah, but Clyde is trash and people are dying. Maybe they could appeal to Xander's better angels. Hopefully he won't go behind Sarah's back and do anything. All right, then it's time to start February sweeps. Thursday, February 1st. Teresa has a crisis at work. You know, she's running Bella Magazine. Maggie had decided to end the magazine. Alex revived it and put Teresa in charge. Alex is not able to help Teresa with her problem. And Brady shows up to do it. And that's going to rub Alex all sort of the wrong way. Harris has a shrink session with Marlena and admits that he's fallen for Ava Vitale, who is telling him that she's having a fling with somebody else. Lucas wants Chad and Everett to write up an interview with him to put in the Salem Spectator. I think he thinks by getting this stuff out in the open, then maybe he won't be in danger and he can stop hiding out. And Sloan and Eric are trying to get intimate, but they keep getting interrupted. That's going to be a little frustrating for both of them. Friday, February 2nd, day two of sweeps. We've got John and Marlena having a nice night at home. But then Teresa and Brady show up. What the heck are these two doing together? And why are they showing up to John and Marlena's place? Are Teresa and Brady trying to sneak into his bedroom or something? And please tell me they're both sober. Xander and Sarah have a double date with Constantine and Maggie. That sounds terrible. Stephanie confesses something to Everett and he is completely shocked. I wonder if she's going to tell him things that she knows from Jada about her ex, which of course is really about Everett. And of course, Stephanie hasn't figured out that Everett and Bobby are one and the same. Stephanie and Ava are both sexually frustrated on Friday. He shows up at her apartment. They start making out, ripping off each other's clothes. Unless somebody interrupts, they're going to do something really bad. All right, I've got some undated spoilers for this week as well. Somebody in Salem is cornered and dangerous. Even though there's love, it may not conquer all for one couple. I believe this is Harris and Ava. Teresa remains conflicted and really wants to come clean to Alex. There's a big mystery coming in sweeps. And Sloan is working on a plan to get Nicole back her baby. All right, heading into the first full week of sweeps, February 5th through 9th. Johnny and Chanel are not the only people in Salem that are looking to get married. It looks like Alex may want to get hitched to Teresa. Oh my gosh, what a terrible, terrible idea that is. Stefan tries to hide the fact that he has betrayed his wife, Gabby, even if he and Ava don't make it all the way to, you know, shaking the mattress. He's crossed lines by making out with her and then pulling each other's clothes off. But it kind of looks like in the new promo, they are going to do the deed. Oh my goodness. All right. More dots are connected. There's a big a bigger than we think mystery unfolding in Salem right now. It's very cryptic and strange spoiler. And then we've got that geocaching hunt thing coming on Valentine's day. So we have all these people wandering around Salem, looking in nooks and crannies for stuff. The spoiler says there are unforeseen consequences. So I feel like something to do with Maybe someone finds a stash of drugs. Maybe someone finds a body. Clearly, everybody poking around in the bushes. Something bad is going to turn up. And Lucas is desperate to get out of protective custody before the end of next week. All right, that is all the Days of Our Lives two-week spoilers I have for you. Definitely drop your comments on what you're excited to see. Please click subscribe if you haven't already. And come back because I'm here talking days with you guys seven days a week. And as always, it is Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. <laughs>